Matthew Nicholas from Matthew Nicholas and Associates from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Today I was reading an article about the limited amount of inventory coming into the 2022 market. This is absolutely unprecedented territory. We've never seen inventory levels this low. <laughs> asking what does this mean for me as a home buyer this year is going to be very similar to last year um, we're anticipating that buyers are going to be in heavy competition on a regular basis for premium inventory and then houses that need some work or we, we, we wouldn't classify premium inventory there may be a bit of an opportunity to not be in such a competitive scenario as we always mention patience is key in markets like this as prices continue to increase, we will see more inventory come online. The worst thing you can do as a buyer right now is get too overheated and overpay. What does overpaying mean in a market like this? Uh, overpaying in a marketplace like this, I would say, is anything outside of the comps by at least 10%. So what does that mean, for example, in this marketplace? If we comp a house out where it's showing us that it should be priced at around 400000 we would suggest not going 10% uh, over that price. So you wouldn't want to be in, for example, the $460,000 range. At that point, that natural market appreciation might be too long to get to inside of a regular cycle of somebody selling a house every five to 10 years. Now, I will put a little note in there. When we're talking about comping the house, we're not talking about the list price. List prices right now aren't necessarily the accurate representation of what the house will sell for. We're in an upswinging market. So in an upswinging market, people are pricing what the house sold for maybe last month or two months ago, right? Which is fair and what the comps really over the long term show. But as this inventory gets into these competitive situations, you start seeing the pricing go at an upward swing quite quickly at times. So that, that list price isn't really what we're concerned about. We're concerned about what does that average show? So where, where is that average? And then we want to be within 10% of that sale price, not the list price. What does it mean for sellers? Right now, sellers are in a fantastic opportunity to capitalize on equity that they've built over the long term. Obviously, trading properties right now, or what we call trading properties, which is, say, you know, going from a 1,000-foot bungalow in St. Patel to a 1,000-foot bungalow in Transcona, that's going to be a tough thing to do, right? Because you, you're, that 1,000-foot bungalow is going to be very expensive in either neighborhood. Whereas, a great opportunity possibly is, you know, you're taking your starter home, and you're taking that equity out of your starter home, and you're moving up into that new home. The new market is another absolutely fantastic opportunity right now when, when we see these really, really um, low inventory positions because there's lots of inventory in the subdivisions, right? So if you're in an opportunity to buy a new home, just like last year, this year is another perfect opportunity to do that. Take that equity out of that starter home and go into the new home. Obviously, each market and situation is different. We want to make sure that we give you the best advice and get you the best price. If you're thinking about buying or selling in this market with these absolutely rock bottom inventory levels, the best thing to do is give us a call early so we can make a plan to make sure you either don't overpay or you get absolute top dollar for your property. Again, that's Matthew Nicholas from Matthew Nicholas and Associates. Shoot us a call, send us a DM. We'd love to help you out. Uh -huh.